Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So today I'm doing a quick project with a couple of my Dahlia tubers. About six weeks ago, I took two tubers out of storage and I put them in a potting soil to see if they would grow well enough to take cuttings from. And as you can see, they have done amazing. So it's time to take cuttings from these tubers. And by doing this, I'm gonna be able to get a whole fresh dahlia plant from this cutting that will produce flowers for my cut flowers this season. Now, dahlia tubers multiply every season, but taking cuttings from a already established tuber is an easy way to increase your stock of dahlias for that actual growing season. So I have two varieties here. Um, this one is Sweet Natalie and this one is Linda's Baby. And these were just single tubers that I had stored from last year and they were a couple of my favorite varieties. So I wanted to have more dahlias of these specific varieties for this year. So I thought I'm gonna try the cutting method and see how it goes for me. So I'm gonna cut each of these dahlia tubers. I'll show you my process first, and then with the second one, I'll do a nice close-up shot so you can see everything a little bit closer. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make tags for the containers that my cuttings are gonna go in. And I'm also gonna put the date on this tag so that I know when I started these. So the containers that I am putting these cuttings into um, are these smaller containers. I would say they're about two inches. These are containers that I saved from some vegetable starts that I had purchased um, at a garden center for last year's garden. Now, I like this size of container because I can easily put the cutting in here, and once they really start rooting, then I can transplant this into a bigger pot, um, like maybe a four inch garden pot. But this is what I'm gonna use just to put the cutting in to start. So I'm gonna put my tags in first. And let's do this one first, which is Linda's baby. So how I'm gonna take this cutting is with a razor blade. And I have washed this with soap and water so it's nice and clean. And again, I'm gonna do this one first, explaining how I do it. The second one, I'm gonna get a nice close-up detail shot for you guys. But I'm gonna come right at the end of the cutting, right next to the tuber, and I'm gonna slice it off nice and clean with this razor blade. And there's my cutting. So it's giving me a nice clean cut right on that tuber. And believe it or not, um, when you cut one cutting off of your tuber, that same spot is gonna regrow again, and it can even regrow with not just one plant coming off of there, but it can have multiple plants, like three or four. So I'm gonna put these tubers back under my grow lights, keep them watered, and I'm gonna see how they keep producing for me. Now you can see there's quite a few leaves on these cutting, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the bottom leaves, and I'm gonna remove the second set of leaves. I'm gonna leave the center point because that's continuing to grow. And then these two leaves, I'm gonna pinch them back to their first set of leaves. And the reason you do that is to help keep this plant hydrated. If I had way too much leaf growth on there, it's gonna have trouble staying hydrated and I do not want this to dry out when I'm trying to root it. Okay, so this is Linda's baby. So just for an easy way to make a hole, I'm just gonna stick my Sharpie right down in the pot, pretty far down, because this cutting is gonna go all the way down in that hole so that the bottom of the cutting is close to the heat mat. Okay, then I'm gonna take my rooting hormone, and this is called Garden Safe Take Root. Um, I've had this for quite a number of years. I think I just got it off of Amazon. I had been using it previously to root succulents. There's a lot of different brands out there, but it's a white powdery rooting hormone. I'm gonna just put a little bit in the cap, and I'm gonna take the bottom of the cutting and just put rooting hormone kind of all around the bottom of that. And then I'm gonna stick it right down in the hole, all the way to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna kind of press the soil in around it to hold it up. And that's it. That is the cutest little dahlia plant. All right, I'm gonna set this one aside. 
I'm gonna zoom in on my sweet Natalie so you can see a little bit closer up. Okay, so on this plant, you can actually see that there are a couple of smaller growth points. This large one is the one that I'm going to cut. So I'm gonna take my razor blade. Let's take the tag out so you can see a little better. I'm gonna cut right next to the edge of the tuber on here. Just slice it down. And here's the tuber that I end up with. So then I'm gonna remove these bottom leaves. And then these sets of leaves, I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm gonna get rid of that. So this is what I end up with. So then I'll take my pot, make a hole in the center all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna dip this in the rooting hormone, kind of making sure that I have quite a bit that sticks on there. And then I'm gonna put this down in there. Tampen the soil in around it. And there it is. Okay, so here's my two dahlia plants that I ended up with. They are just so cute. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna take these tubers that I just took the cuttings off of, I'm gonna take these and put them back under my grow lights because this one already has some more growth going. This one is gonna regrow, so I wanna keep these under lights until they go out into my garden when the chance of any frost has passed. These are gonna go under my grow lights on a heat mat because these are gonna need that bottom heat to start growing the roots. So I'm gonna make sure that these stay nice and moist every single day. You don't want them to dry out or that's gonna hinder the root growth. And I would say probably in two to three weeks, I should see some really good root growth on these. At that point, I'm gonna pot them up into a larger, probably a four inch pot. But until then, I'm just gonna hope that they start developing some really nice roots and grow into a whole nother dahlia plant of themselves. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna get these placed on my grow station. I have a lot more seeds to start and a lot of seeds growing. Um, I also am about ready to plant all of my ranoculus outside. So I'll probably be doing that in the next few days. I'll make sure to do a video on that. And then coming up, I'm also gonna be doing a whole grow room tour for you guys so you can see how all of my seedlings are doing. Um, some of my snapdragons are like this tall. It's crazy, so I need to get those pinched as well. Um, so anyway, lots to do, and I'm really excited for spring. So stay tuned, we'll see you soon.